Gemini's welcome to sending spiritually. So this is going to be a general reading for information on personal rituals that I do monthly every new and full moon that are under ten dollars. And my manifestation oils, the link for that will be in the description box below. Let's take a look and see what you guys need to know at this current time. We have the moon card, ace of pentacles, king of wands, knight of pentacles, the hangman, eight of wands in reverse, the devil, and the king of cups so some of you may need to watch the aquarius reading because there's a lot of similar cards here from that spread so i feel like there could be some correlation with the moon card there may be a lot of uncertainty a lot of the unknown where you don't really know where you're headed you just know that you want a certain outcome to happen and you're gonna get it however there's something that you need to get rid of in your life some sort of toxicity that needs to be addressed this is an issue that has been ongoing that you're fully aware of However, it's a little difficult to get rid of this problem or just to be able to transition out of having this in your daily life. So this could be anything, any type of addictions, anything you're doing excessively, um, thought processes, fear, anxiety, needing to come out of like toxic ways of thinking, um, especially when you're dealing with situations in the past that were traumatic. Um, sometimes you learn how to work through trauma. But once that trauma is over, sometimes that energy is still stored in your body. So even though the threat is gone, you still have those same coping mechanisms that you may need to release. Um, and there may be some resistance to that. So don't allow your fears to get in the way of the things that you want to accomplish. Because you definitely have good things coming with the Ace of Pentacles, new car, new home, new relationship, new connection, peace of mind, traveling. It could be anything tangible. Um, or just a new opportunity that the universe wants to grant to you. But you do have to take action in order to be able to receive this new opportunity. And because whatever you're desiring has been slow to come, some of you want to give up or you just feel like, you know, why is this taking so long? When is it going to be my time? And I completely understand that, especially if you're looking around and you're seeing people kind of like get what they desire or um, you're seeing them go through certain situations that may make you look at yourself some type of way. Just know that it's their time um, and you don't know what they have been going through behind the scenes and why they're deserving of what it is that they're receiving. But everything that you're going to get, um, it's going to be worth it in the end. So with the moon, this is also about your subconscious mind where a lot of the things that you've kind of buried could be coming up at this moment. But it's going to help you awaken. So some of you have gone through another phase of awakening. You're seeing things from a different perspective. And those of you that are single... There are multiple people that are interested in you. Each person has something different to bring to the table. This King of Cups is going to be someone that's more emotional. They are emotionally available. They do have love to give. This is someone that um, is experienced. They're loving, they're caring, nurturing, compassionate. This King of Wands is someone that's going to be highly attractive. The type of person that you can go out with. They'll help you experience new things. This is someone that I feel like is funny, friendly, charming. But they could be a little bit of just someone who likes casual relationships i don't want to say that you know they're a player or anything of that sort because i feel like this person's a player when or they just like dating multiple people when they're single but there's nothing actually wrong with that if you are single because i feel like this king of wands does have the ability to be in a committed relationship if they got to that point but it's just a matter of will they get to that point or will they like string you along um, the Knight of Pentacles is also the energy of like being responsible, kind of like being more conservative with your energy. Some of you may not be going out as much or you just may be more practical in things and you're going to be asked to be more persistent. Some of you are really environmentally conscious and, you know, you don't like to litter. You're all about recycling and people around you may not be in that energy as well. So it could be frustrating because it's like I'm trying to protect the earth and people around me are not. But... As long as you keep doing your part, I feel like in a way you kind of help people change their ways or they see you doing things right and it actually inspires them to do better. With the Eight of Wands in reverse, there could be, you know, stagnancy or a lack of movement. But this is not just for no reason. It's because you've just come out of a, a phase of like suspension where you were kind of at a pause. Things in your life were in a pause moment just so you could self-reflect and you can see where you are and really get bearings about where it is that you went ahead moving forward in the future. And I also feel like there is someone toxic in your life. And as long as this person is in your life, as long as you're rubbing shoulders with them, um, communicating with them, you're taking on some of their bad karma. Or this could be someone that just has 
ill intentions for you or they really don't want you to progress. This is someone who I feel like would even give you bad advice or just m make decisions, help you make decisions that work on their, their favor rather than for you. So when it comes to advice, um, really listen to your own inner voice more than anything. And at times, if you need advice, you may have to go to someone that's impartial or someone that doesn't know anything about you um, in order to get a more practical way of moving forward. Because people tend to be biased if they're near you or close to you. And sometimes you need to go out there and find someone who really just has no tie to you because of what do they have to lose from you know giving you honesty. And so that may be something to consider is to only listen to yourself at this current time because I feel like people are being influenced like even if you have someone around you that loves you and cares for you if they have I'm not here to say like mental issues mean that you're being hijacked but certain people are not strong mentally and they get used as puppets by these lower vibrational entities and energies and they will lash out at you or they'll get provoked to do something that's negative towards you and it's not even that they wanted to it's just that th their energy w was being influenced so that's why it's important to kind of just keep things close to your chest um, and if you have something that you want to present to the world really just you don't even need to get advice like what do you need advice for like just keep it to yourself that's just what I'm hearing for some odd reason because um, yeah I just feel like some bad energy or like influence that's around you but some of it isn't even um, intentional it's just like because you're such a powerful person in order for you to get swayed in the wrong direction these lower vibrational beings and entities know that they have to do it through someone close to you because they don't have any other way of getting into your heart or your mind or to make you second guess yourself rather than going through somebody else so just be careful we have knight of pentacles again the magician four of wands Four of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, Three of Wands, and the Moon. Yeah, the Moon and Magician together, I don't really like that energy. Especially if you feel weird around full moons or you just feel weird around certain times of the month. Um, it's probably for a reason. I don't want to go as far as saying like there may be someone doing spell work on you. But sometimes people will send you evil eye. Um, unintentionally even. Like they'll see something you have and they'll be jealous of it. Even though they have the capabilities of having those same qualities that you have. So really, if you want to manifest something, just keep it to yourself. Until it's time for you to present it to the world, then you can tell everybody at that point. But it's hard for people to sabotage things if they don't know it exists and they don't know that you're doing it. If you have been considering moving homes or you want to find a new place to live or you want to find stability in your home life, that is coming. But you are going to have to save. And I feel like it may be time um, for you to kind of wait it out a bit. So let's say you want to move out or you want to find a new place. It may take about four to ten months, depending on your resources, depending on, you know, what's available to you. So don't give up. I just feel like it's going to be slow and steady. So whatever it is that you're desiring, whether it's financial independency, having something long term, having a, a stable partner, someone that you can count on, it is coming in in the future. You will be happy if you're not already. Um, but I feel like it's not going to be without things getting exposed. So if you have been seen certain signs and synchronicities if you've been wondering about certain things having bad dreams or nightmares it's because those dreams are trying to expose something that you need to see i also feel like people that have ill intentions with you are going to be getting exposed around this current time and it may be a bit shocking because they are going to be people that you don't really suspect and like i said sometimes people really do care about you but they get influenced by certain things to just like mistreat you and they don't even understand why they're doing it themselves which is why like give grace to people even when they have ill intentions for you like i've i've actually learned to do that because i used to just be very resistant to people that would like hurt me but then one day i just like saw it from a different perspective and it just made me understand because the people that do you wrong it's like they do feel guilt they do end up feeling bad um one way or another like they may not ever disclose that to you um but just know that some people don't understand why they do certain things. Some of them are very conscious in their bad behaviors, but they just, they succumb to their lower vibrational selves. What does Gemini need to know at this current time? Nine of Swords, Temperance, Balance. So if you have been going through heartbreak, disappointment, pain, stress, that is going to be balanced out. 
but it, you are going to have to have strength um, to make the necessary adjustments, cuts, um, because there are there it has to be some sort of change. You're going through a transformation. And with the Queen of Swords, does not play any games, especially when she's aware that something's not good for her, she or he, you could be male or female, you have to be able to have the strength to cut those things out. Sometimes people just need a break. You may not even have to cut someone off, you know, entirely. Like, you could just distance yourself from them until um, they deal with their own issues. Because at times I feel like people tend to kind of put their baggage on you somehow. Um, or even, like, self-reflect. And they see, in hindsight, when people self-reflect, they really see, like, oh, the Gemini wasn't the problem. It was me. I was just kind of dishing it out on them and it's important for you to have strong boundaries around this current moment um because if you don't it's going to cause you more stress than anything i do see balance being restored but you need to make sure that you're doing the necessary work to have physical balance which means drinking enough water every day eating fruits and vegetables eating things that are grown from the ground that are not processed so that it can give you a clear state of mind um, to be able to see things as they are and with the six of cups people from the past may be returning and these are people that you've kept at a distance and it'll be up to you as to whether that those relationships could be restored because like I said some connections um, are not worth it and some of them just need time apart to really understand like some people don't see what they have until it's no longer at their disposal and that's when they really understand what your value is and yeah with the three of swords if you were in heartbreak or pain these swords are going to be coming out but it is going to require you to just make some sort of sacrifices. You know, whenever you're feeling sad, down and out, try to redirect your thoughts. Um, because air signs tend to be in their heads a lot, which is understandable. But you can do something to kind of help yourself not stay in that energy. So let me get one last spread. At the bottom of this deck, look, we have forgiveness. Interesting. One last spread for Geminis. Trust and faith. Have trust that everything is going to work out in your favor. Galactic. You are a galactic being. You have so much power than you really even realize. Like you haven't even tapped into like 30% of what you are capable of. Um, so try not to feel orphaned. And you may be in situations where you feel kind of left out in the cold, taken for granted, not appreciated. Um, but if you are single, you are going to have someone who's going to be your spouse. Like, they're going to be there for you. The ins and outs of life, you may not be there yet. There may be stages before you can get to the spouse energy. But you're being watched over. Have trust and faith that everything is working out as it should. So that's the end of your reading. Bye.